Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Pokemon card opening. It is time for a special occasion. This is going to be the first time I open up a booster box. Never done it before, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm all grown up, and I've gone from opening up one or two packs in a rare occasion as a kid to buying whole booster boxes. <laughs> it's a pretty, pretty large jump. Also, as you can see from the previous video, our fossil box our uh, Jungle Box, and our first edition, Team Rocket. And these are all filled with cards as well. Uh, we won't open them right away. We'll open them eventually, though. All right, so here we are. Sun and Moon, huh? Man. And this will come with uh, packs of uh, 36 packs. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. Uh, I'm so new to this, I don't even know which cards we're supposed to be looking for. What's funny is one of my fans, Law Guy. Hi, Law Guy. She mentioned that I had opened up an Ultra Rare, and I didn't even notice it in one of my previous videos. I just didn't know. That's how newbie I am at this, and that's how I was when I was a kid, you know? When I first got into Pokemon cards, I didn't know what cards were valuable. Well, we all kind of knew Charizard was valuable, I guess. So let's see, take the plastic off. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. I don't know exactly how this is meant to work. That seems to pop out. Oh. Is it supposed to go behind like this? Oh, so cool. See, now I'm ready to sell you all Pokemon cards. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking about buying a digital scale. I was learning that Pokemon cards packs can actually be weighed. And this will actually reveal which packs have the most valuable cards in it. And... I wanted to see if that was true, but I haven't actually purchased a scale, and I don't know if I ever will. But I do know that if I buy packs online, I'm going to be buying them like this as booster boxes to make sure I'm not getting ripped off. So let's see how it goes. Set this off to... well, we'll set it back here. I do want to make a, a note. We don't have any more of the penny sleeves. I need to go buy some more. I actually ran out. And what that means is we're going to be setting down our nicest cards, and we're going to be handling them very gently. And when the, when the video's over, uh, you know, I'll have to go get some more penny sleeves. We'll fill them up later, maybe off screen. Uh, but for the purpose of this recording, we'll be doing it without the sleeves. All right. I'm always so slow at this. There must be some trick to doing this quickly. Like, does this... Oh, that actually kind of tears, doesn't it? Oh, interesting. Well, that was easy. Right, and somebody told me that this card here, the code card, can actually reveal whether you're getting a uh, holographic or not. I don't like that. Here's the code, by the way. Put that, make sure that's on camera. So no natural lighting today, just the lighting for my rig uh, that I've got set up here. I can see it's casting kind of a shadow here. We don't want that shadow. This is good. What if we focus it over here? Is it just going to be worse? No, actually, I think that's better. <laughs> yeah, no natural lighting, because it is almost 1 a.m. in the morning that I'm doing this. Let's go ahead and shuffle these. One, two, three. Get rid of the top three cards. This is going to be an energy card. Steel energy, huh? Let's flip it over. Cresselia. Sweet. Now, I always wonder... See, I feel like the fun of opening up Pokemon card packs is not knowing what the, the rare card underneath is going to be. But I always wonder, it, does anyone ever is anyone ever interested in the common and the rare cards? See, I'm so new to this. Look, there's a regular Cherish Ball. Here's the one I got. It's the crazy Cherish Ball. Interesting. All right. Trainer, huh? I wonder if I should keep Trainer separate. There's Tauros. He's all the way from the first gen. Is he first gen? Or is he second gen? I can't remember now. I think he's second gen. Tauros. First gen or second gen? Shroomish. Drifloon, one of my favorite Pokemon. Dupider. Ryulu, Reverse Hollow. And... Wow, look at that. Keldo. Okay, so Keldo is a Pokemon that's new to me. And... It is a, it's, it's so interesting. You guys will have to explain to me how these cards work. I noticed the card is actually not textured, but it's the whole card is taken up by this, uh, the art here. Keldo GX, pure heart. <laughs> Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by, po 
by your opponent's Pokemon GX or Pokemon X. Oh, interesting. See, I like learning about that kind of stuff because I enjoy turn-based games. If you didn't know that about me, I actually love strategy games. Interesting. Oh, there we go. So wait, can I flip this over here? Oh, no, I think it still got revealed. All right, there's the code. Set that to the side. Pack number two. Two out of 36. One, two, three. And the energy card is Fairy. I gotta be more gentle with these cards. We have Steny, Steeny, Azelf, Deden. Huh, I wonder if I'm saying that right. Bon Sweet, Splash Spinning Attack, <laughs> Joltik, Salandit. See, is this close enough? Let's get this a little closer. Another Ryulu. Metatite. Giant Bomb Reverse Hollow is an uncommon card. And <laughs> Gumshoes. Non holographic. <laughs> Alert Headbutt. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a GX or EX, this attack's base damage is 30. Huh. So, what, it gets worse? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I don't understand. Pack number three. Hmm. Still learning how to open these cards easily. Oops, really tore that up. All right. Here's the online code. Feel free to take that. One, two, three. And then let's see what energy card we get. Water energy card. And the energy cards really look different from the way they used to. We have Del Mize. What the heck is this, man? Such a strange looking Pokemon. It's just an anchor with a wheel attached to it for driving. Ooh, I put this in the wrong pile. One moment. Heracross, man, love Heracross. Heracross, Pinsir, and Scyther. They're such, uh, they're terrific. The Bug Trio. Coach Trainer, Salandit, Bon Sweet, Salandit again. Scraggy, see, he's pulling his pants up. Tynamo, Reverse Hollow Fletchling, and Terrakion. I have a Reverse Hollow Terrakion. Oh, this is actually Holographic Terrakion, okay. Also, let's get this pile in order. Let's get that in a nice order. All right. Those are all my commons and uncommons. <laughs> I moved my arm and my cat, like, jumped. She's wondering... Oh, we saw a Bidoof in there. She's wondering where all these plastic cards are from. Now, now hold on. Is the back of this card different from the back of this card? It is different. Interesting. Okay. So maybe this is a good pack. And here's the code once again. Okay. One, two, three. Here's the energy card. That's dark energy. Flip this over. Reset stamp. Hair cross again. Type null. When I first heard that there was a Pokemon named Type Null, I thought that maybe it was just like a mistake on the actual website. <laughs> and then it's like, nope, that's an actual Pokemon. I'm like, really? <laughs> it's a strange name. Skaruppy. Wimpod. Noibat. Sneasel. Sneasel's such a well-designed Pokemon. Reverse Hollow Goodbye. I think I already have one of these. And Salazzle. Wow, I'm so salazzled. Smack 40 and Slashing Claw 90, huh? Very simple card. No problem. Hmm. How many of these have we done? Five, six? Well, opening booster box is going to take a while. I did not realize. Okay, so it's full green on the back again. I wonder if that means a uh, non-hollow once again. Here's the code. 
What are you doing, kitty? Did you hear her meow? One, two, three. Here's the energy card. It's another steel card, huh? Oh, I gotta be more gentle with these. Yan Mega. Jinx. <laughs> I remember, so for those of you who weren't there for when the base set came out, Jinx was originally black, and a lot of people were complaining because they thought it was blackface. So they had to change her skin color to purple, which is why her skin color is purple now. Dragonair. Dragonair has always been a popular Pokemon. Very majestic. Noibat. Sawaddle. Looks like a Wiggler. Uh, Scaruppy. Wimpod. Slackoff. Reverse Hollow Dewpider. And Whimsicott. Interesting. Let's get the next pack. Just destroying this pack. All right. Interesting. Another full green back of the card for the for the uh, code card. I wonder if I should be hiding those. I don't know if they predict things. One, two, three. The energy card is fairy. There we go. We got knocked out. Man, knocked out. That's a. Uh, is that Gen 2 knocked out? Tranquil, Electric, Tynamo, Cosmog, Salandit, Gibble, Swaddle, Reverse Hollow Reset Stamp, and Talon Flame. So, once again, not holographic. I feel like the code maybe is predicting what we're going to be getting in the set. So, maybe we should start hiding that code. What is the trick to opening you guys? All right, so wait a second. Let's pull this out like this maybe? There we go. We don't actually wanna see the back of that card. Oh, this is actually a little worn right here. I couldn't have done that. Did I do that? One, two, three. That actually looks like it had a bunch of pressure on it, but I don't think I did that. All right, the energy card, just water. We have Knocked Out again, Caracosta, Arduino, if I said that right, Magmar, Cottony, Snow Runt, Tynamo. Metatype, Reverse Hollow, Cubone, and Executor. Believe it or not, I actually like Executor. Maybe it's just because I liked all of the Psychic Pokemon from Gen 1. Well, no, I didn't actually like Jinx and Mr. Mime. Uh, but Executor, he's a, he's a strange Pokemon because he was like Psychic Grass, I guess. Mind Ben, your opponent's active, card is, uh, active Pokemon is now confused. Wow, these cards are so much more powerful than they used to be. And then Full Clean, discard your hand. Discard your hand? You do a whopping 180 damage. That's pretty strong. He's like stronger than base Charizard. I should go watch a Pokemon card tournament. I'm curious how they look now these days. Bet they've changed. Alright, I tell you what. I'd rather see this card... Yeah, I'd rather see this card than the code. So here's the code. And then we're going to flip this over. One, two, three. Okay, and here's the energy card. Dark energy once again. All right, here we go. We have Dragonair. Basculin. Misty's favorite. Wow, she's so sweet. <laughs> Muna. We saw when we opened it. Pikachu, of course. Look at Tongue. Girls love him. Purloin. Magmar. Reverse Hollow. Recycle Energy. And. Okay. A holographic Celebi. There we go. That's a little better. 
Wow, Celebi is an old Pokemon now. So funny, when I was into the show, he was uh, kind of a newer Pokemon. Next Pokemon pack. We're looking for more of those full arts, I think. The GX and the EX. Tag team. Yeah. Right, we don't actually want to see that card. How do we... I feel like we already have. Oh, this is awful. Get rid of that real fast. Okay, so we did actually see that card. And it is. And then we flip this over. One, two, three. I gotta have a system for doing this. This is better than the system I'm using. Energy card is electric. We have Dark City. Musharna. Rest well. Both the active Pokemon are now asleep. During your next turn, this Pokemon attacks do 100 more damage to your opponent. Oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. You gotta be pretty lucky though, because you gotta you gotta get a heads to wake up. Misty's Favor, Dwebble, Muna, Pikachu, a Bidoof, Cosmog, and Reverse Hollow Whimsicott. Oh, here we go. And a Tag Team Slowpoke and Psyduck. Huh, that's so interesting, because I'm pretty sure I got the rarer version of this in my very first card opening. Look at that, Ditch and Splash, huh? Huh. So I'm guessing the ultra rares are the cards that have the textures to them, which is what we should be interested in. We should be interested in the ultra rares. Tag Team, Slowpoke, and Donald Duck. No, I'm just kidding. Psyduck. Hmm, yeah, we do open this kind of rough, don't we? I'm trying to get this to separate. What's the trick? And what would I rather do? Show this Pokemon in the front or the card in the back? Oh, I gotta be careful. When I take the cards out, they wanna spill around. So here's the code card. And you can tell how new I am to this. One, two, three. Those are going to go on the back, the front. <laughs> the energy card is Steel Energy. Flip this around. Relicanth. Look at that. He looks like he's made out of clay in this card. Deep Sea Boring. <laughs> Water Pulse. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Just that easy, huh? Man, I'm telling you, the, the cards have had power creep. The cards are much stronger than they used to be. Fletchling, Onyx, Fletchinder, Snover, Murkrow, Reverse Hollow, Chandler, and Archeops. Oh, such an ugly Pokemon, actually. I don't like the way that one looks. Sorry, if he's your favorite Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, he looks kind of goof. Not as good as Aerodactyl. Let's go for the next one. trash everywhere. So maybe I could just... Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I see. Well, it's too late for that. It's too late for that. Move all this trash away. It's too late. Here's the code. Oops. Make sure I don't hide that. Alright, and then one, two, three. Let's go ahead and flip this around. Fairy. Blue's Tactics. Oh, I love it. Blue, huh? Your rival. Oops, wrong pile. Fracture. Basculin. Sneasel again. Hey, there's a Magnemite. Magnemite is one of my favorite cards. Place that over there. Slackoth. Axew. Fletchinder. Reverse Hollow Electros. So now I have the Hollow Electros, and, or E Electros, and the Reverse Hollow E Electros. And then finally. Weavile, and this is not the ultra rare we Weavile, I'm guessing. This is just the regular rare. Hmm. Very good looking. All right, we gotta keep going. I gotta get better at opening these. A 
is, oh, I see, it's this card that we want to flip, but there's no way to, there's just no way to flip it. It's just how it is. All right, there's the code. One, two, three. The energy card is water. We have Mesprit, Sableye. You should see this huge stack we got going. Oh, okay, Lapras is an uncommon in this set. Mermaid's Call. Once during your turn, you may put a Misty's favor card from your discard pile into your hand. Huh, that's so interesting. So Lapras kind of like uh, has some sort of synergy with the uh, trainer card. Drill Burr. Psychoth with the bush. Fungus Among Us. Hone Edge. Another Magnemite. Reverse Hollow Leaveny, if I'm saying that right. This is a new one. I don't recognize this one. And then the Zerkatry. <laughs> Ultra Beast. Three mirrors. If your opponent has exactly three prize cards remaining, this attack does 90 more damage. <sighs> Jesus, man. And then Signal Beam. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Wow. I'm telling you, these cards got so much stronger. And that's a basic Pokemon. You can just play them straight from your hand. All right, next pack. Oh, cool, okay. I might have just had a revelation there. Is there no way for me to avoid showing you... I guess there's not. <laughs> Here's the code. I kind of don't want to show off the back of the um, the code, because I'm, I'm curious if it actually reveals what kind of card you're getting. All right, let's see. Dark energy. I appreciate that the dark energy and the steel energy is so abundant in these decks because back when they first introduced those uh, uh, those types, they weren't that abundant. It was hard to obtain them. So we have Dewblade, Chandler, Chandler, Azelf, Azelf, Murkrow, Snover, Dratini, Fungus, Honedge, Reverse Hollow, Cottony. And Mag Mortar. I don't know if I agree with the design on the Mag Mortar. A few Pokemon like Rhyperior and Mag Mortar, they just look too round or something. Like, he needs to go on a diet. Look at that tummy. Yeah, he needs a diet, man. Smoke Bomb. If the defending Pokemon tries to attack during your opponent's next turn, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails, the, that attack doesn't happen. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Flamethrower. Discard an energy card from this Pokemon. It's pretty neat. It's a very strong card. Wow. We haven't even finished half the box. This is so crazy. <laughs> What's the trick here? I know there's some trick to doing this. I don't know. I don't think I I don't think I got it. Alright, we got the solid green. For the code, does that mean no hollow? It's the card. Let's get that out of the way. One, two, three. All right, if we don't get hollow on this, we got to hide that code card way better. Let's see. Electric energy. Dual blade. Oops, wrong pack. Wrong, wrong uh, stack. Aranguru. Lorantis. Cubone. Yanma. Young Goose. Cryogonal, Litwick, Reverse Hollow, Metatite, and Scrafty. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's non-hollow, so I think that the the uh, code card actually is revealing what you're getting in the pack, and that's real annoying because I don't want to know. <laughs> I want to see it. All right, we might have just ruined that one too. So with this one being solid green, wait, what was, what was the last one? Oh, the last one was also solid green. So this. This should include a non hollow. There's the code. One, two, three. The energy card is psychic. If you were psychic, you could always predict it, what card is behind there, but you're not. So all you can do is guess. Thunderous, he's an uncommon. So strange that he's an uncommon. Dragonair, Steeny, Joltik, Dratini. Oh, this is interesting. So Dratini in this case has a different. Uh, a different uh, design. Yanma. Execute. 
Reverse Hollow Stun Fisk. He's got one move. Trap Bolt. If, before doing damage, your opponent's active Pokemon has more remaining HP than this Pokemon, this attack does 30 more damage. Wow, that's interesting. And Honchkrow, which is non-holographic. So, yes, the code cards are, in fact, revealing what you're going to get. So we got to fix that. I think that means I'm going to go ahead and open it from the back of the card. I'm not going to show you the front, because the front always reveals the uh, code card first. So we're going to see the back first. Okay. And how do we look at the code card? There must be a trick here. <laughs> we already had it, actually. All we had to do was pull it back like this. Perfect. Okay. Now that that's ruined. And then flip that over. One, two, three. The energy card. Fire. I'm on fire. Munchlax. I remember when they introduced baby Snorlax, and all I could think is like, he looks too different from the, the uh, he looks too different from actual Snorlax. So there's a Magneton. We'll put him on top of the Magnemites over there. Uh, how do you say this? Is it Bibarel? Bibarel? Bidoof and Bibarel. I only know how to say Bidoof because he's so awesome. Fomantis. Sawaddle. Marianne. Is it Marianne? Litwick. X. Oh, what is this? Excadrill, huh? And he is actually a reverse hollow rare. That's pretty good. And then Tapu Fini, which is also a rare, but non-holographic. Wow, so Booster Box is awfully stingy. That's interesting. You buy a Booster Box, and you are not guaranteed too many of the good cards. So maybe you get the good cards, but you don't know. All right, this pack is exactly halfway through the box. Wow, we're at 26 minutes. Maybe we should speed it up a little bit. Cryogonal, Mariani, Fomantis, Ryulu, Purloin. Oh, right, we didn't pull the back cards. Tapu Fini is going to be our reverse hollow. We just collected this one. That's so funny. And Necrozo or Necro Necrozma. There we go, Necrozma. I've never seen this Pokemon before. Barrier attack. During your opponent's next turn, this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. Special Laser, if this Pokemon has any special energy attached to it, this attack does 60 more damage. What? <laughs> 160 damage? That's ridiculous. All right. So get put that to the side. These are going to be the uncommons. And this is the code card. The card we're trying to avoid. <laughs> wow, our stack of uncommons and commons are huge now. Never seen this before in my whole Pokemon career. Right. There we go. Kind of have to get in there. You think it'd get e easier, but it doesn't really get easier. All right, here's the code. Perfect. So we got rid of that. And now we can flip this around. One, two, three. All right, we're doing this a little bit better. Metal Energy. So now we really don't know what we're getting in the back. We got Hapu. Another Magneton. We're just going to have a collection of only Magnetons and Magnemites somewhere. Sableye. Purloin. Magmar. Tynamo. Cosmog. Salandit. Reverse Hollow Carablast. Oh, I, I don't run into this card very often. And Zygarde. Yeah, I've never really seen this either. There's a fighting type. Cellular Companions. As long as this Pokemon is on your bench, your Zygarde and Zygarde at GX's attacks do 20 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. Huh. So strange. Still better than that, those two packs I opened where there wasn't even a rare in the in the pack. But he's not a he's not a holographic card, so that's a little bit. We usually want the hollows. I think people like the hollows the best, right? I know I like hollows the best. I'm get excited for holographic cards. All right, the next pack. Let's carefully reveal the code behind it. Now we're going to flip it around. One, two, three. Here's the energy card. Dark, dark energy. Dark. <laughs> Here we have Dark City. Musharna. Misty's Favor. 
Moonen again. Pikachu again. Badoof again. Cosmog again. Magmar. Here we go. Reverse Hollow Skiruppy. And Holographic Eel Ectros. I have like two of these guys now. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what are the odds? Next pack. Oh, Jesus. There he is, Dwebble. He's looking at a Moltres. Oh no, I've revealed the card in the back. Uh, all right. Wow, so that's tricky then, because you either risk revealing the card in the back early, or you look at the hol you look at the uh, code back card and you know what he's going to be anyways. So there's like no way to win. You got to have dainty fingers to do this. Pokemon Research Lab. There we go. There's one we haven't seen yet. Luminian. Oh wow, you really have to be careful on to show this. Luminian. Norm Normalian Z. Dwebble. Pidove. Muna. Pikachu. Look at tongue. Okay, this is a common poi pole. It's funny, we haven't run into this once yet. And <laughs> what are the odds of getting pulling this card twice? I've pulled this card twice now. Reverse hollow, slow poke, and Psyduck. He goes in the rare pile. Very nice. Let's get to our next card. They really want me to have slow poke and Psyduck. Ah, see, opening this up is, is a challenge. You don't want to do that, because if you do that, you're going to accidentally see the rare card. But if you do it this way, you're going to accidentally see whether or not you're getting a... Yeah, I guess there's just no way around it. All right. Huh. One, two, three. Put those in the front. Take a look at this card here. It's Fairy Energy. We have Archon, Lampin, Breloom, Finian, Stunfisk, Gibble, Lickitung, Dwebble, Reverse Hollow Unidentified Fossil, that's an uncommon, and Salazzle, non hollow. That's a lot of Salazzles. <laughs> I'm actually getting a. Uh, I'm actually getting hot opening all these packs, man. There's a lot of packs to go through. All right, 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 right. So we're gonna we're gonna keep the cards hidden once again because what we what ended up happening last time was we ruined the surprise. But how do I hide the code card? There's just no way to do it. I don't know if there's a way to hide it. All right, <laughs> solid green back. That's too bad. One, two, three. Put those in the front. I don't think there's a way to hide it. Electric energy. Put this over. Bug catcher. <laughs> I love that that's a trainer card. Mesprit. Komala. There we go. There's some variation. Numel. Tynamo. Poipol. Drillbur. Snowrunt. Reverse Hollow Scruffy, Scrafty, and by the way, he's rare. That's nice. And Escavalier? Escavalier, huh? Discerning Spear. If your opponent's active Pokemon has no damage counters on it, before this attack does damage, this attack does nothing. Oh, snap. <laughs> well, you better be attacking somebody who already has damage. Wow, you only need one energy card for that move, too. That's really crazy, because it does 80 damage. That's it, guys. I'm getting back into Pokemon card battling. <laughs> Alright, we opened it wrong anyways. Okay, there's the code. At least we don't know what we're getting. Wow, you have to be really careful not to expose the back card. One, two, three. Here's the energy card is a leaf. Very nice. 
we have Tornadus. <laughs> He's so goofy looking. He's got like a bushy mustache almost. Swadloon. Why not? Why not? Pikachu again. Pidove. Poipol. Numel. Agzu. Reverse Hollow Scraggy. And Frostlass. Holographic Frostlass. Oh, I wouldn't have caught that at first. The holographics are very subtle. Huh. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Icy Wind. Spiteful Side. Put up to 7 damage counters on this Pokemon. This attack does 20 damage for each damage counter you placed in this way. Oh, snap. You can, like, knock yourself out. Knocking the opponent out. It didn't say that you didn't you couldn't kill yourself. You know what I mean? Alright, I actually do think this is safer. Ooh, look at that, we bent this. Okay, one, two, three. Water energy. We have the den. Oof, my packs, my stack is so tall. Laurentis, Giant Bomb, Fletchling, Hone Edge, Pikachu, Hoot Hoot. <laughs> what is he doing? He looks scared, and there's a Zapdos in the background. Scraggy, Reverse Hollow Lickitung. Oh, I love the way it looks. They got like these big stars down here. Yeah, that looks nice. And Toxapex. Huh, this evolves from Mariani. Spike Shot, that's the only move it does. <laughs> that's too funny. Very straightforward card. Knows exactly what it wants to do. Look at that, I'm starting to open these up more easily. Right. Here's the code. Alright, so that was not a full green back. So this could actually be a good pack. Executor, eh, execute, I should say. Grimer. So, uh, Magnemite and Magneton are a favorite of mine. Grimer and Muck are also a favorite of mine. We're going to put Grimer over here. There's our Hoot Hoot. Carablast. Hone Edge. Reverse Hollow Finion. Oh, right, we forgot to remove the, um, the uncommons from the back. So Finion and... Umbreon and Darkrai GX. Wow. Black Lance. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon or benched EX. Oh, cool. Wow, that seems uh, so unfair. Dark Moon. Your opponent can't play any trainer cards from their hand during their next turn. If this Pokemon has at least 5 extra Dark Energy attached to it, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> such a strong, such a strong card. All right. The energy card and your uncommons. Hey, we finally got Vigoroth. Wow, so it's interesting. There's so many cards in this set. How many does it say? It says there's at least 236, and then I'm sure there's some hidden cards too. And that's the first Slackoth that we've actually gotten from the uncommon set. Is it because he's kind of un like, is he actually uncommon? <laughs> We're going to be gentle here. Alright, here's the code. Let me know if these codes are actually valuable. One, two, three. We got the strength card. Fighting card. I call it strength. Fighting. Munchlax, again. Reset stamp. Electric. Is that a different art? I think that's a different art for electric. Stun Fisk. Onyx, Finion, Alolan Grimer. I would love to get him as a Reverse Hollow. Carablast, Electric Reverse Hollow, and Latias. Is it Latias or Latias? Energy Arrow. Yeah, I, I never understood that, actually. I never knew the because Latias was actually, or Latias was out when I was collecting cards, and I never knew which one to call it. What is this up here? I don't recognize this. Is this a new type? Huh. That's interesting. I don't recognize that. There's a weakness to fairy type, huh? Huh. Things I don't know. 
Oh wow, that that actually grabbed really easily. All right, there's the code. <laughs> I have so many open packs on the ground right now. One, two, three, put that in the front. All right, the energy card is very, very good. Flip this over. I know that was really bad. Tritoga, Tranquil, Recycle Energy, Mariani, Fomantis, Ryolu, Ryolu, Perloin, Joltik, Reverse Hollow Onyx, and Unpheasant. Huh. It's like getting a Pidgeot. <laughs> How many card packs do we have left? We've got. We are down to our last seven. We got seven packs left to get the rarest card in the set. Ooh. Oh, snap. That just opened right up. I guess that's how it's meant to go. All right, all right, all right. We don't want to ruin this. Be careful, be careful. <laughs> oh, it's actually really hard to pull a card from the back. So there's the code. Aha, now you don't know what kind of card it's going to be in the back. One, two, three. I'm like a, I'm like a card dealer at the uh, casino. Dark energy. Paikumaku. Archen. Yan Mega. Dupider. Dredagon, is that right? Cottony. He's a new one. Fomantis. Sawaddle. Reverse Hollow Magmar. And what is this? Galisopod, Galisopod, and he's holographic. Emergency exit. If this Pokemon has two or fewer energy cards attached to it, it has no retreat cost. Huh. And he's a really heavy retreat cost. First impression. If this Pokemon was on the bench and became your active Pokemon this turn, this attack does 60 more damage. Whoa. Oh my god. It's like... It's like 180 damage. Oh, look at that. It actually pops right open. I didn't know that. Oh, you guys must have been cringing if you watch a lot of these. <laughs> it pops right open if you're just a little rougher. There's the code. One, two, three. All right. Flip this over. Psychic energy. I got a whole bunch of energy cards. Cresselia. That's what we started the whole uh, opening with. It was Cresselia. Oops. Careful there. Cherish Ball. Taurus, Dredagon, Shroomish, doesn't he look like it? He just, um, he's grumpy. Drifloon, Drifloon's not grumpy. Dupider, be like, be like Drifloon. Cryogonal, Medicam, he's got this big baggy pants on. And Amoongus, we already had Amoongus. Unholographic, non-holographic. Alright, how do you do this? Oh, What? That's way easier than the way I've been doing it. Oh, so it could be a good card. Oh, right. Here's the code. Make sure you can see it. I don't know if you saw it. We have Raiulu with a nice little rainbow in the background. Metatite. Shroomish. Slackoth. Drifloon. Latius. Oh, right, because we didn't get the uh, uncommons in the back. And Kangaskhan! <laughs> wow, that's a uh, Gen 1 Pokemon. I remember this guy. Double draw. Draw two cards. Tag impact. This attack does 50 damage for each of your tag team Pokemon in play. Huh. Interesting. Leaf Energy. Lapras. Karate Belt. And Grimsley. How grim. I would love to show you guys the stack of common and uncommon cards at this point, because it's blowing my mind. Okay, so this pack, this pops right open in the back. I did not know that. It's so easy now. It's all I needed to know. All right, so we got a non-hollow. We got a non-hollow at the end, right? Is that how this is working? Oh, and we, one, two, three. <laughs> yeah, boy, I got it this time. Steel energy. You actually have to open quite a few of these to get a feel for opening these. Delmise, Heracross, Coach Trainer, Bond Sweep, Salandit, Scraggy, 
Dynamo, Cubone, Delmize, Reverse Hollow, he's an uncommon, and Lightbird. We already have Lightbird. That's a, not a hollow card. Three left, guys. What do you think will be in here? All right, we're gonna do it like this. There we go. There we go. Ooh, this could be a good card. Let's check the code. One, two, three. Oh, I'm gonna knock this huge stack of common cards on. All right, energy card, it's water. We have why not, type null, Pokemaniac, Noibat, Sneasel, sneaking around, Balan Sweet, Joltik. Some of these cards are clearly more common. Salandit, Reverse Hollow Gibble, and Holographic Jirachi. Oh, interesting. Psychic Zone. Don't apply Psychic Weakness when Pokemon both yours and your opponents take damage from attacks. Huh. Star Shield GX. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Interesting. We'll go ahead and put that in the rare pile. We have a huge rare pile now. So, my impression of the booster box is that it's only had one Ultra Rare in it. It's the one we already had, of course. Oh, interesting. Doesn't want to open. Some of these seem to be stiffer than others. Hello? <laughs> Is this supposed to have two layers to it? Oh, Jesus, man. So that one was really tough, actually, for opening. That one didn't want to open at all. All right, so this could have a good card in it as well. I'm damaging the card, pulling it open so hard. There you go. Make sure you can see that properly. One, two, three. Here's the energy card. Now let's flip this over. We have Yan Mega. Jinx. Dragonair. Sawaddle. Scarupi. Wimpod. Slackoth. Salandit. Reverse Hollow Ear Ringing Bell. This is an uncommon card. And, oh, look at this. This is an ultra rare Misty's Favor. Oh my god, this must be popular. Misty's such a popular character. Search your deck for up to three supporter cards. Reveal them and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. I'll take it. She's number 235 of 236, huh? We do actually have this one sleeve. We'll pop her in here. Look at that. Look at that wink on her face. She's like, can you help me? So I don't know, Misty. No, pay for your own drinks. There we go. We'll set that to the side. I think that's the best card we've gotten out of whole out of the whole booster box. The booster box is officially empty. This is our last pack. What will we get? That opened right up. Ah, it's a non-hollow. That's too bad. So I think Misty's Favor was the best card in the set. Here's the code. One, two, three. Energy card. Fire! It's fire! Place that over there. All right, we'll go ahead and flip this around. We have Swad Loon. Flinium Z, Blizzard Town, Gibble, Sawaddle, Badoof, Scaruppy, Wimpod, Reverse Hollow Mesprit, and Non Hollow Meli Mel Oeda. What? <laughs> Tag Cheer, Shooting Star, Pirouette. I don't know what a pirouette is. Flip a coin until you get tails. This attack does 30 more damage for each heads. Oh. So in theory, you could get really lucky with that. Huh. All right. So this is one of our ultra rares is the Misty's Favor. And then the other one is definitely the Psyduck and Slowpoke that we already had. So here's our big old pack of rare cards. Holy cow, look at that. 
Look at that. These are all the rare cards we drew. But it's not necessarily only rare, but also the reverse hollows. So Mellowet, Mesprit, we're going to be real soft. Ear Ringing Bell, Jirachi GX, Reverse Hollow Gibble, Lyperd, Non Hollow, Delmise, Reverse Hollow, Kangaskhan, Hollow, Latias, Reverse Hollow, Amoongus, uh, Non Hollow, Medicam, Reverse Hollow, Galasopod. Uh, Galasopod is a Hollow Rare. Magmar is Reverse Hollow, however, it's common. Unpheasant is a, a Rare. Non-hollow. Onyx is common reverse hollow. Here's Latius non-hollow. Electric. <laughs> See, we, uh, what is that? That's a reverse reverse hollow uncommon. There's the Umbreon. You know, we should be setting these aside, right? So we've got the Umbreon and Darkrai. These full art ones, I think, should be set aside. Let's go ahead and put a Jirachi on top of it as well. So we've got a whole bunch of reverse hollows. But what's interesting is a lot of the reverse hollows are just like the common and the uncommon cards I notice. Place this to the side. Oops. Yeah, we'll get these in sleeves. Finian. See, that's a common reverse hollow. I wonder if they're going to have much value in the, the future. They probably will, but they'll be thought of still as common and uncommon cards, I'm sure. Toxapex. Reverse hollow. Look at tongue. I actually like him. Frostlass is a holographic rare. Scraggy is reverse hollow common. Escavalier, and this is a non hollow rare. Scrafty, <laughs> he's a reverse hollow rare. So that's like double rare when that occurs, huh? I wonder if people really like those reverse hollow rares. Salazzle rare, non hollow. Unidentified fossil, it's reverse hollow. Right, and this was the other ultra rare in the set, was the Slowpoke and Psyduck. Let's set that on top of Misty's favor. We'll get him in a sleeve soon. Poi Pole, that is a common reverse hollow. Electros, he's a hollow rare. Nice, he looks cool. Score Ruppy is a common reverse hollow. Zygarde is a rare non hollow. Carablast, reverse common hollow. Reverse hollow common. There we go. Hapu, you don't belong in here. Get out of here. <laughs> Necro Necrozma. There we go. Necrozma. He's a non hollow rare. Tapu Finny. Finny. This is a rare reverse. And then right before that, we had pulled a uh, non hollow rare Tapu Finny. Excadrill. He's a rare and reverse hollow. Hunch Crow. Uh, is non hollow but rare. Stunfisk is. A common but reverse hollow. Here's boring old Scrafty Rare, non hollow. <laughs> That's like the worst when you get a non hollow rare, right? <laughs> it's not exactly what you wanted. A reverse hollow Metatite. Mag Mortar is not holographic, but he is rare. Cottony is a common reverse hollow. Look at all these cards we got, man. Zerka Tree is rare but not holographic. Levani is. Rare and Reverse Hollow. Ah, here we are. We had a Full Art Weavile. Eel Ectros is Rare and Reverse Hollow in this case. We have Archaeops, which is just Rare. Chandler is Uncommon Reverse Hollow. Full Art Slowpoke. They really want me to have Slowpoke. This is a Rare Whimsicott, Reverse Hollow. Here's a Rare Celebi. That's a holographic Celebi. Reverse Hollow Energy Cycle. It's a rare Executor. Non Hollow. Cubone is Reverse hel uh, Reverse Hollow Common. Talon Flame is a rare Non Hollow. Reset Stamp is a Reverse Hollow. Whims of Scott is a Non Hollow Rare. Dupider is a Common Reverse Hollow. Look at this Salazzle. So this is like a second version of Salazzle, but this time it's Psychic. So strange. And this is non hollow. Reverse hollow Gabite. That's an uncommon. This is uh, holographic Terrakian, rare. Reverse hollow Fletchling. Giant Bomb is a reverse hollow, uncommon. Gum Shoes. It's one of the goofiest rares you can get, probably. <laughs> and a, I forgot about this, a full art Keldo. 
So that's a GX card in reverse hollow Ryolu. Interesting. So when you actually sort these cards out a bit more, you get to see really what you're getting from these packs. So there were 36 packs. And if we look here, we got one, two, three, four, five full arts, and then two ultra rares. So your odds of pulling an ultra rare, if, if it follows this pattern, your odds of pulling a, an ultra rare is like what? One in, uh, what's 36 divided by half? 15 plus three, one in 18. And then you have a much greater chance to pull a full art because there were what, five of these? So 36, that's like one in eight. So you have about one in 18 chances for one of these guys and about one in eight chances for the full arts. Huh, those are some sl slim odds, man. Yeah, interesting. And check out this huge pile of commons and uncommons. Wow, that is quite a bit. Here, let me change the camera there. <laughs> I kind of want to hold that in my hand. I want to see what that feels like. Hold on. Oh, I can't hold it in my hand. There's too many cards. Wow. So guys who open Pokemon cards for their YouTube channels professionally, what do you think these guys do with all these commons and uncommons? They must give them to someone, right? Uh, what would you do with them otherwise? There's just no purpose for them at all. Yeah, that's crazy. Maybe they sell them on eBay, eBay or something. I have no idea. Wow, that is a ton of common and uncommon cards. All right, well, that is the very first time I have ever opened an entire booster box of cards. Um, so let me know what you think. Whoa, my cats are going crazy. <laughs> let me know how I can improve it, what you would like to see, and let me know what you would like to see me open up next time. All right? I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.